Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Water Horse. Yep. Glad you can make it today. I'm glad I was able to make it. You've been busy. I had a lady tell me a while ago you had 73 horses you was caring for. Yes, I am. Is yeah, that right? There's a bunch of them out there. I ain't going to tell you who it was. <laughs> they, they was telling me all about it. Said you were, they even said you was doing a good job. <laughs> they must have been blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she wasn't. That was Sylvia Pence. Oh. She, was, she was over here from Malkin Nearest, and uh, we, we had a conversation. She, she was talking about what was going on out there. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on out there. There's going to be a whole lot more going on, yeah, too. Yeah, it is. Well, I'll tell you what, before we get started, we're going to take a small, short break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. And then we got some video, got some announcements to make, got a lot of stuff going yep. on. The fun show's fixing to start. Yes, sir. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. I can get you one, so uh, get your cat off from me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're going to make a couple of announcements. Number one, the fun show starts Thursday night, the 26th through Saturday night. Lee Boyd, Derek Bonner, and Jamie Bradshaw will mark the cards and show times at 6. And this year, it's inside the Cal Yes. They brought it mm -hmm. back. I'm glad because we're supposed to have more rain. Rain, yeah. It's and supposed to rain I, all I, this rest of this week, I believe. I, I just yeah. don't want to get wet, so. Not Me that either. I'm made out of sugar or anything. <laughs> I'm made out of salt, but I, I still don't want to get wet. But that, that's very important. Next week, second through the fourth, will be the Columbia Spring Jubilee. It's going to be in Columbia, Tennessee. Showtime up there is 6 p.m. Mike Hilly, Alan McQuarrie, and 
Amy Trimble will mark the cards. And then we're going to Alabama down into Huntsville, 10th and 11th. B, Alabama A&M. You can contact Gary Wayne Smith down there, 256-709-5661. Friday night, showtime is at 6 p.m. Saturday, it's at 5 p.m. Our buddy Joe Cotton, he's going to mm -hmm. be a judge, and Keith Alshire, he's going to mark the cards. So he said what they're going to do is mark the cards, then they're just going to spin the wheel, and whichever one the name comes up, that's the card well, they're going to use. He said worked. he couldn't think of a better way or more honest way to do it. I said, yeah, it's exactly different. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll, it'll get things different. And the big thing that people talk about right now is we're going back to Tunica. That's going to be, That'd in, be exciting. Hey, going to be in November. I think it's uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th, something like that. It'll be the last show of the season. And they're doing this to raise funds for the legal division. Okay. But they said they had four objectives for the show. Produce a fun show to end the season. Bring industry organizers together in a spirit of unity. Raise money for the industry's legal defense fund and support the show circuit outside of Middle Tennessee. Tweba, FAST, the Celebration, all of these join forces together to put this show on it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And me too, me too. I, I, I always I, like that show down there. i tell you what I like about it, it's over early. I mean, normally on Saturday night, I just jump in my car and drive on home. Yeah. I get home about 2.30, 3 o'clock. And uh, I don't have to worry about fighting traffic the next day. You're exactly right but about it, that. It's, it's nice, and every night they get done about 10, go back to the motel and relax and rest, or do like I do, go down to the three-card poker table. And make all that money. <laughs> make all that money myself. <laughs> I told him, I said, I said, y'all ought to give me rooms year-round. <laughs> the money that I give y'all. Yeah. Went down there one year, Jerry, and nobody was doing uh, single horse videos. So I told them, I said, well, you know, they would want me to it. I said, I'll do it $50 cash. You pay me in advance, though. I will send you a DVD. The mistake I made was them paying me in advance. Mm -hmm. Never should have done it. When I got back home, I had to write it. Jimmy, a check, because I never thought about it. I was just sitting there playing cards. I understand. <laughs> and as fast as they'd give it to me, I was giving it to the casino. I went down there one year, and when I got ready to leave, I was waving back at the casino, and they asked me what I was waving. I said, I'll tell my money goodbye. <laughs> I left it, <laughs> I'm, I left it there. I'm glad I got to see, see you it. for a while. That's right. <laughs> well, I tell you, we, we got a big sale Saturday, too. I really want to... Uh, emphasize the fact that go out there and watch what happens because I, I did a little survey myself. Tweed was really pushing for registrations and people say, well, I don't want to register them until I know what they're going to do. To me, that's a, that's a costly mistake. Yes, it is. And I'll tell you why. These, these sales that they're going to, I've compared the, the price of a registered Tennessee walking horse to a non-registered, and there's about a 30, 35 percent difference. Oh yeah, you know when the horse is registered, you got proof of what the age, what they buy, and everything else. And people want to see that, regardless on what it is. They That's people it. want to see some kind of paperwork on that horse. Well, I'm gonna tell you, all these horses right here. Now they're bringing big dollars, yes. and I guarantee you, Saturday, at that sale, if people go out there and watch, if they start reading off them pedigrees that these horses are registered to certain studs, and you'll have them double registered, all, everything. And that's the main thing, because you, you, it just makes them worth more. That is. Plus, that is. you don't have to worry about them saying, well, that horse is older than you claim it is. Here's the paper Here's on the paperwork on him. That's so, right. I mean, and that, to me, that's what. But the breeders, I'm, I'm telling you all, the breeders is important. People need to support it. It needs to grow. We need to register our horses and show how valuable they are. And they're a lot more valuable registered than they are non-registered. You are exactly right. Well, as a man told me, he said, you can say any horse is a walking horse. Mm -hmm. But if you got the papers and you can prove it, that's one thing. But if you can't prove it, it's something else. 
in its truth. I advise anybody who got a horse and need to get registered, go to the breeze, get your horse registered and all that stuff. And I've never had one that, that was not registered. Yes. And when I, we have a foal, it gets registered. Yes. And it, before it's even weaned, it, well, we got one now, I've got to take over and register. So it, it's very important, and, and I just want everybody to realize that, that it is important that you do that. I believe during the fun show, they'll have a booth open, I believe, over yep, here during I the fun believe, show. They'll be, I believe they'll be open in their, in their building down there. Yeah, and so, I got a few paperwork, so I'm going to take over there and get... Well, that's what I was thinking about doing, it mm -hmm. save me a trip to Lewisburg, because I'm, I'm going to tell you, it, it's very important. Another thing that's going to be important this weekend, I've been hearing all times kinds of tales about the BMO inspectors, what they're doing, how they're acting and everything. The only thing I can tell everybody, in Tennessee, I can't swear it for other states, in Tennessee, you can legally video them anytime they touch your horse, so remember that. If you can't do it, find somebody that can video for you because that's the law. In Tennessee, you can video the inspections. I know one man, he keeps texting me, telling me, well, they refuse to let us video. I'm not sure the laws in these other states, but I do know in Tennessee, if they refuse to let you video, yes, then simply call the police and get them out there because they're breaking the law then. And that, that's one thing they can't do. They, they may not follow the correct protocol when they're inspecting our horses. They may change the way they do it. They may slide something in here and there. But the fact is this, a law is a law. And if you're in Tennessee, I believe you ought to live by Tennessee law. And in Tennessee, we can inspect or video our horses anytime they're being inspected and if you don't like it, don't inspect the horse. Yes, right? you're right. But I, that's what I'm going to say. And, of course, in, anything that we hear, people can say what they want to. They post what they want to out here on the Internet. You really don't know if they're telling the truth or not. You want to believe everybody. But I have had some that proved me wrong. So I'm just telling you, be on the safe side. Don't worry about the hearsay. Just video your inspections. Yeah, you're exactly right. right on that. Let's watch some. Videos. I, I love horse videos. This one right here is from Shelbyville Tennis Team's Walking Horse Show. Polly Gray and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield's two-year-old Marion Gilden winner. I hope I can see this horse in the, in the I do two too. weekend. I tell you what, he, he's been showing him. He ain't been bashful yeah. with him. He's been putting him out there. And he's, he's pretty good. Very he, nice, very nice. He just, uh, he can pick them up and put them down. Tanner's doing a good job. He, he Tanner's really doing a really is. Good my, job. And right there, this young lady, hey, she's going to get my vote. She, she gets out there and shows in the 17 and under, the 11 and under. She, don't, she just wants to show. She's and, not shy about showing. Well, I tell you what, now, she made a heck of a show over there on Coach Cal oh, yeah. this last time mm -hmm. she went. She did. Well, she had shown against the medalist twice, and he had won. And the first thing she asked when she went in there, she looked at her dad, wanted to know where he was. <laughs> <laughs> These kids, they, they love to show against each other. Oh, and yeah. they, they pay the respect to each other. These kids can show against each other and be competitive and then get off and go and play with each other and never you got like it. I, they just they just like to have fun. I tell you what's funny is sit behind them and listen to them talk. Yes. Right? Graydon Beach and Jake Jacobs for Jake and Allie Joe Jacobs, your amateur four-year-old Marion Gilden winner. That's what you call a nice flat walk right there. Oh Lord, he gets he gets down there and gets it done. Yeah. Jake's another one that he will help the industry any way he can. He helps at horse shows, helps get the track ready. And if you don't ask him, he gets kind of upset <laughs> when, when you don't ask him to help. I'll tell you what, he's a good rider. Oh, he is. He now, is a good rider. Sure. I talked to Amanda about her show, and she was, she's thinking about it. Here's Honor's Image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield, your four-year-old Open winner. 
That's one they better watch. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. Every time I've seen him, he, he just improves. Some horses, you know, they're pretty much the same every time, but now this one, he continues to get better. He got, he a, got a good name. Yes, but he got a great headset yeah. too. Beautiful horse. Getting it done. I tell you what, they, they, they had a good show oh, the yeah, first they, time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure next year they're going to have another. At least I would think they're going to have another. I would say they probably will. I well, mean, if it's up to Ricky, I bet they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky likes to do them. All right, here we go. Alabama Ladies Auxiliary. She did a great job. Yes. This, this horse right here, he went missing immediately after this show because Roy Wester has no ownership in this horse anymore. Uh. That little girl flat took him all the way. They had a picture out on uh, Facebook. He, he had a lead line. That's as close as she's letting him get to the horse. I understand. He's the whole shebang. I don't think Greg ever showed that horse that good. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, now she, she's got started. Mackenzie Wester. She have a good person that's leading it too. Oh yeah. I tell you what, I really like this horse right here. I am busting yeah. loose. I really like that horse. Kelly Dussel, amateur three-year-old stallion winner. That horse right there is just flat good. This was his second night. He showed the first night in uh, Shelbyville and then went to Alabama and showed down there. That is a real nice horse. Man, that's, ain't nothing wrong with that horse. She does a great job. Real good job. Right here, Super Bowl MVP and BB Beasley. You 12 to 17. That horse is consistent. Yes, that horse is real consistent. That's a nice horse. Real nice. I seen them in town the other night at Walmart getting a house down here in Chevyville ready. Getting ready for the show yep. season. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, now we're fixing to have a bunch of shows right at once in Middle Tennessee and Northern Alabama. Oh, yeah. Quite an honor in Beth Beasley, for Beth Beasley, your amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. Beth really likes that mare. She said yeah, there's she does. something special to her about that mare. And I've watched John Allen show, him, show her twice real good shows and then Beth come out and make a show like she made. Yes. Says a lot for that mare. It does. She versatile. All right. Now we're going to go to Parker's Crossroads, and then we're going to the Smokies. Then we got a surprise for everybody. That we, we be, I don't even think you know what we're going to do today. No, nah, I'm about like Cracker Jacks, the surprise. That's right, but there's going to be a surprise in these Cracker Jacks, because <laughs> we, we had a good time. 34th Mid-South Show Association Charity Show, Miss Dixie Carter. Parker's Crossroads had a good show down there. I didn't get to go. And I need to thank my buddy Bob Roach for sharing the video with us. But right there is Miss Dixie Carter and Taylor Walters. I, I love I love the name of that horse. Yes. But that's that's a good horse. I mean a real good horse. And Taylor. She just she can flat ride. That's all that matters. Every time you see that horse, she makes a phenomenal show. Oh, she does. 
does a great job. Yep. And right there is Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. Amateur five-year-old. Now, she can show that horse in that class and the pony class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get in either one of them. It's a nice one, too. He holds that head up like he's one proud. Yeah. Like, look at me. That's it. Use them legs, on. too. Both in front end and back end. I like a horse like that. Like you said a long time ago, you can see Sea Rock City nope. in the bottom of them feet right there. He's flipping them up. I like the way Taylor sets up in a saddle, though. She sits up in there just like her mother does. I mean, they get up, they don't slump. And that's, to me, that's important. It doesn't you're, take anything right. away from the horse. Good job, Taylor. She, you couldn't beat what she did. No, she done a good job. Now we're going to go up to the Smokies. Boy, that's, that's, that was a good show up there. Yeah. Right there is I'm a jazz master and Jer oh, that's your son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, Freighter's Barbecue and Mike Wilhelm Trucking owns that. That's gilded, I know. Yeah. I'm a jazz master. Jeremy does a good job. Now, I, Jeremy I does like real good. He, I like to aggravate him, but he does a good job. I tell you, he's he's really, and I watch him every day at the barn. I mean, he's he's getting more and more into these horses all the time. Well, I mean, that's he's, good. You, you want him to really yeah. get into his job. Right here is the Sky Coach and Hayes Harrison. I'm going to tell you, that young man made a well of a oh, show. Yeah, he did. I watched that show. video. And uh, I just I thought I'm, he's making a well of a show. Oh, Hayes, he likes them horses. He come in on the weekend to, to the horse shows. I tell you what, his mom can cook too. No, oh, she can. Yes, she can. She can really Don't cook. Don't tell me like that. I love to eat. Here's. Escapee and Heidi Mott, for owner Heidi Mott, Show Pleasure Open Specialty winner. That's a... Yeah, right there she a was, nice Escape old, yeah. in from down there. Now, she made a great show down in Alabama, too, She did buddy. make a real good show, and I tell you, she's a real nice lady. I like the fact that she come back in here by, and, and bam, bam. Yep. Got her two good wins in a row. Nice horse. Escapee and Heidi Mott. And her husband right there in the background, the supporter. All the time. He don't ride, but she, he's there. He's a bigger su supporter. I'll tell you what, everybody needs a supporter. Yep. You, know, you need support. Mm -hmm. I always say that. you got to have support. That right oh, there yeah. is about You're as right. good as you can get. And I think that does it on our victory passes for now, but I'll tell you what we're going to do. People say, well, Jerry, when you ain't got a show, what do you do? I go to Barnes. That's right. That's and buddy, I, I, I enjoy going to Barnes. Uh, I have different people call me, but there's one guy that always calls me and always ready, and that's Lane Leverett. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. 
A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Everybody, remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. You get your boots, your suits, and everything there. It's unbelievable what you can get at the winter circle, so I'm going to remind everybody while you're in town, go down. I don't care if it's just to buy a new bit, uh, blankets, wraps, whatever. Just go into the winter circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Very important. <laughs> What we did, Lane Leverett has moved to a new location. He's built, he, he's got a pretty nice setup. He's even got a, a porch out there with a top on it. And uh, you can go out there and watch the rabbits run everywhere. Uh -huh. He only had two, now he's got a bunch. But, and his little boy, he, he will keep you busy. <laughs> I mean, he will. Uh, little girl, she'll come out and talk to you. But now, Lane Leverett and Sun Stables is one place to get one started. Oh, yeah. And it really is. A lot of people go there. A lot of people get them. Walk time, Charlie. World Grand Champion. He's got a ton of ball springs. And we're fixing to watch you. Some yes. of them just now in a minute. Walk time Charlie is by line with cash out of a silver design mare. So this bloodline, you got Midnight Sun, Sun's Eldorado, Mark of Carbon, Doc's High Tribute, and that's Sun's Eldorado. Steve Hill, I started to reach in there and open the top and pet him. Steve said, don't do that, he'll take that arm off. <laughs> That's a, that was a nice horse. Beautiful horse. Nice, nice and horse. And I mean, can flat get it. Yeah. World Grand Champion, right? Look there. Mm hmm. Almost a spitting image. You're right. But this one right here, then. That's Levi out there, and he's getting it ridden. Yeah. But that's a walk time, Charlie. Oh, Eli, he does a real good job. He's another young trainer that's coming up that's doing a real good job. I'll tell you what, he, he, he works hard when you're out there. Oh, yeah. Lane was getting ready to go to the coon hunt, and uh, he said, Levi, take care of you, and he yeah. did. 
Here's Jose's ambush. Now, originally, this horse had a, another name that was Forever Jose. Okay. But now it's Jose's ambush. Now, his bloodline is, he was by Jose Jose out of uh, Generator Santana. In a, in a, no, he was, he was by the, he has the Jose Jose bloodline. I'm sorry, I'm getting this big. He's out of a Generator Santana mare, but he's got Pride of Midnight, Mary Go Boys, Sons Delight, Ebony, and there's some bum in him too. Yeah. <laughs> Delight bumming around. That's when he was forever Jose. And here's one of his offsprings. I tell you what, just spending you can spend hour on hour out there watching what they do. Oh yeah. And, and it's unbelievable the number of coats that they will bring out for you to watch. But every one of these is for sale, folks. So I guarantee you they're for sale. Might want to stop out by there and take a peek while you're in town. Lane will sure sell you one. In a heartbeat. Yep. Oh, Lane, he been real good with Coach for a long time. I've been knowing Lane for a good while. Well, I have noticed been, one thing. He been real good with Coach. Everyone is the one. Yeah. When you talk to Lane, he said, now this is the one. But he does have a lot of good ones. Yeah, he got he a lot really of good does. ones, yeah. These horses and the coon hunting, that's Lane's life. That's it. He likes both of them real well. But I, I he does real well, it's successful in both of it. Yeah. I'm not so sure, but I believe that uh, Eli has bailed on the coon hunting and is paying more attention to the horse. Yeah. I really do. He, uh, you go out there and watch him and, and he's working. I tell you what, this is a good way to spend the day. Oh yeah. It really is. You can go out there, kick back, relax, watch what they're doing. Watch horse after horse. And every horse is at a different stage. You, yeah. You'll find in the background every now and then, you'll see one that they're just breaking real good right yeah. now. And some of them are a little bit further along. Tell you what you can see on all the horses that I've seen videos so far. All of them sit back in that brow real well. That's it. And here's some Lester H. Burns. Now, Lester H. Burns was by Ted Williams out of a pusher mare. His bloodline is Pride of Midnight, Midnight Sun, Ebony, Drug Dealer. You just go on, you, it just good solid yeah. bloodline. bloodline. This horse is making a real good breeding stud. And I tell you, them things pretty popular now. Yeah. I had some, yeah. I can't keep none. Every, let's say each morning I get it. I mean, I sell it two or three days. Well, they, they get hot and people want them, especially yeah. when you get a real good one. And they say, hey, and then they start the more 
the more these horses get out there and people, they move them around and then they hit this trainer yeah. here, boy, and this trainer does real good. But I said, well, I'm gonna breed the less yeah, race yeah. burn. Yeah, but now he's he's pretty high. I had one out of the nightshade mare for Terry Lynn. I like to watch the way they move with their back end. And then it's like Billy Gray used to say, you show me one with a good back end, we, we can help. Yep. Yeah. I do want to tell everybody that Tim Gray is home doing well. He called me and wanted to thank everybody for their prayers. Yep. He, uh, he, he was said that even he was worried there for a while that everything was looking good. I was glad to hear it. I tell you, them horses are getting broke. You see them cars in the background going right around through there, and they're not jumping from them. They're not running. They're running they from them. Keep yeah, going. Keep going. So they're getting them amateur broke. That's one thing you do when you get them from lane. They are broke. Well, they ride them. Yeah. That's the key, you got to ride them. You can't let them sit in the stall. You gotta get them out there, get them to work, and that's with everything, your trail yeah. horses and all. Tell everybody, J.D. Evans is having eye surgery. Ginger, Ginger posted this. Not eye surgery, but having an eye treatment. Said he's having trouble with his vision. Everybody needs to pray for him, too. Because that's, in case you don't know who he is, if you go to a show in Alabama and it's freezing outside and there's a guy in there with a cut off t shirt, that's J.D. Yes. Mm hmm. I gave him one of my water horse t-shirts and I said, I didn't know where you'd wear it, not since it had sleeves in it. That's always there is phenomenal. Hey. He's something else. Yep. He is something else. Look at that head shake. Yep. Now that's the young, the other young man that helps uh, Lane. Yeah. I can't think of it. You know his name? No, I seen him a couple of times. I can't remember. Well, I tell you what, he flat rides them now. They can't get rid of him. That's for sure. I've watched. And that. I tell you, that's the backbone of every horse barn, is the ones that's riding them coats and getting them started. The ones that get on there and for the first time. time. That's the backbone of it now. Well, some of these, they really don't want you on their back. And they, they will fight it until they realize, hey, this is going to be done, then they settle into yeah. it. Yeah. But that young man right there, I've watched him wrestle the good ones and the bad ones. Yeah. And when you ride at this stage right here, that make you feel like you accomplished something. That's right. 
Well, you I'm going to tell you, that horse right there is going to end up with one heck of a head shake. Yeah. Because he is walking and shaking right now. Got good motion. Yep. I was inside when CJ did this video. I need to go look at him again. He's done a real good job with him. Yeah, I think so. Here's the man. Honors. Yep. They, they, they had several honors out there. Honors is by the titleist out of a pushover mare. Yep. So he's got all kinds of putting on the rips, midnight <laughs> pusher, uh, ebony, you name it. He's got some of it in him. Walk on is all I can say. Oh, yeah. You know, you look at that horse and you can see all that bloodline you just named yeah. into that one horse right there. Oh, yeah. Got, you can see the pushover in him. You can see the titles in him, the rich. You know, you can see all that stuff. Tell you what, I sit and watch watch him go around. Oh yeah. Well, he ain't the only one. There's, I look at I watch some of these that I just, and you just sit there and watch them all day long the way they perform. Well, you can look at that horse, and you looking at the ideal walking horse, Tennessee walking horse, the way it's gonna go, and that's the way it's that's it's it. gonna go, just like him. It's flowing with the wind. These have got the talent. I love them. Yeah. That one is looking real good. Oh, yeah. I like to, and when you go back one week to the next, yes. And watch your Taz told me yesterday. He said you're gonna come look at this filly Friday. And I wasn't planning on coming Friday, but I told him I would. I tell you, they Taz is doing a good job with that when working the ones he worked. I mean, it just. And I mean, you keep saying, you know, like people say Jerry and Lane and all these them, but these young ones, these young guys, they're coming on, they're making a name for themselves. Like Jeremy making a name for himself, Eli's making a name for himself. I mean, he's coming on, and I mean, they the one actually, all these well, young ones. Working, out here working the horses, working they're horse. learning them. That, that's right. And, and that's good. And I'm glad that we can do something like this, because they never say that, young man. Yeah. But one thing my dad always told me growing up, say, son, you don't never get to the point think you know everything about a horse. Say, somebody can show you anything, and that's- you Always and you, learn. You always learn every day, every time you ride, and that's the biggest thing about people. You have to be able to learn and listen. Well, different techniques. I've, I've watched some of these trainers. 
I, I, I watched one trainer say, I want you to reshoe him, but I want you to move that foot just about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch yeah. to the right. And I'm sitting there thinking, what in the world does he think that? Yeah. But once, once they do it and you see the difference, I mean, some people can look and tell. Well, I mean, on, that in, this, in this thing, in this business here. Yeah. Well, we got to take, okay. a, not to interrupt you, but the man said go to commercial. commercial. Okay, though. We'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. Well, as you noticed, we didn't show the ad for the punch up. You know what? Why? Why? I decided that we'd go back and let people see how what the caliber of the horses are when they go to the fun show. Because they don't bring also run. They bring the meat and potatoes. That's right. And here we go. This is last year. There's Deodor on the Mandalorian. Now remember last year the fun show was outside. We probably see a lot of these horses that was there last year, this year. Oh, yeah. Around that ring. Well, Dee, you'll probably see her there. Oh, yeah, you will see her there now. Oh, Dee, she likes to show. I'm going to say her little granddaughter, Lexi, be showing in the saddle this year. She'll do good. Yeah. Here's Now, here's one that's been already been showing this year. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to see him yeah. or her, Grayton Beach. I love that mare now. Oh, yeah, I do, too. You know, he originally got that mare for Allie Joe, but now he's been showing it, and, and, and that's a good thing. Sometimes these horses are a little bit too much for the kids. Yeah. Now, this one, I'm telling you, I love this horse. Dancing for a dollar. Yeah. Molly Walters does a great job with, with her. Dancing for the dollars. Ain't nothing like a good gray horse. Oh, I love that culture too. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. Sammy and Gail Cagle. Those are some really nice people now, I'm gonna tell you. Sammy and Gail. Yeah. Really nice. Four year old Marion Gildon Canner winner. Jose is witchy woman. With our four year old Marion Gildon Blue Ribbon Ride, here's Jose witchy woman. Michael Wright is in the eye for making the Blue Ribbon Ride for Sandy and Gail Cagle of Lexington. Jose witchy woman and Michael Wright. Congratulations on the third tonight Blue Ribbon Ride. There's 
Is that oh, good? Yeah, one? that's a real good one. No, Kathy Sass. Love yeah. that horse. Oh, yeah. There's a golden sovereign, that one. Mm -hmm. This horse right here, it's just a winner, 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 no matter which way. Yeah. Great ambassador for the industry. Fantastic horse. Yes, he is. Right there, born. Hey, Bob, you may be on vacation, buddy, but your horse is still kicking up here. Yep, yeah, that'll be another one you'll see hey. probably this weekend between these. He can get it done, buddy. Yeah. I tell you what, when that horse comes in, you see him, and that, I mean, once you see him, it's hard to take your eyes oh, off yeah. of him. You keep going back to him. It's just like in, in that class right there. I kept going back and looking at him because he was just outstanding. Oh, yeah. I can't even remember who won that class. Here's Vaughn Miller, 12 to 17. That's George Samora's yeah. granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I believe we'll probably see her. Yeah. I know we won't be showing all these horses that were last year, but we had a segment and I wanted to put some in just so they see the caliber. It'll be a big show. Yeah. It'll be a big, you know. Look here. A kingpin. That's another one. Uh, yeah. That's a good horse. Real good. Well, pretty much this fun show kind of set the standards for the celebration. Oh, yeah. You know, if you can get well, in here and make it Well, what it does, it, it, it gets everybody here. Everybody yeah. comes in, and then we have all these shows around here, so we keep seeing better and better that, horses. That's right. I'm going to tell you, you probably see some horses at this fun show, Jerry. It's probably haven't showed all year yet. Yeah. Check True. them out. Mm-hmm. Atta boy, Leroy. Yeah, nice little walk and shake to him. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, them boys right there, those twins, they, they can flat ride a horse. Yeah. She's limitless in yes. Molly Walters. These, people, these ladies do a, a bunch of good riding right here. Oh, yeah. See you what these horses are just, I don't know, Jerry, they're amazing. They are. They really are. I 
I'd say that right there, right now, is the queen bee of the mares. Yes. Cavender and Knox Blackburn. I'm going to tell you, people, three-year-old this year, right there's one everybody's going to be watching. Oh, yeah. So he put on a well of a show over at the Cal Sonic at the Champions Arena. Knox has got him back, and he is rocking and rolling. And here, me and Pocahontas and Kayla Balcon. Young trainers, 35 and under. Two ladies went in there and showed them how to do it. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Allison Armstrong loves that mare. There's a King Zane and Bob Adcock, you're 50 and over. That's a real nice horse right here. Yeah, I've been thinking about trying to give him a load of hay for it, but I don't know that he would take it. Yeah. <laughs> shavings or something. Some shavings. got a great walk. He does. I know it does. When he was young, I had a chance to ride him a couple times. Minor ordeal. Tyler Balkum, your walk horse state class winner. That is one horse that broke the barrier. That's yep. the one that set the pace. One thing he will always be remembered for. Oh, yeah. He broke the ice and then it took off. I would say he wouldn't be surprised at seeing him. Oh, isn't it? I'm not going to be surprised on what we see this weekend yeah. because I've just got a funny feeling that we're, we're going to have a heck of a year with competition. Our thing is get everybody on the same page and, and video you inspections. Mm -hmm. Trainers take trainers know how to take care of these oh, horses. Yeah. I've watched them too much. They're, they're not going to bring a non-compliant horse up there. No. And, and people might as well understand that. I know the government don't, but it, it is what it is. They've got a job. I just hope they do it according to the way they're supposed to. And... Uh, and I believe, I believe they will. I hope they do. Show does a good job. So yeah, they do a real I'm good job. I'm going to wait and watch and see and go for it. But people, Jerry, Saturday, or Friday night, Thursday night. Right. Yeah. Six o'clock. Yes, sir. We'll be at the Cal Sonic. That's for work. See everybody there. See y'all mm -hmm. later. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.
Thank you.